Well, it is day three of the Republican National Convention underway in Milwaukee. All right, this is President Biden faces more calls from within his own party to drop out of the presidential race. Fox Sight Sharon Crowley joins us now in studio with all the latest election headlines, Sharon. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Natasha and Steve. Uh, Senator J.D. Vance is expected to talk tonight about his turbulent life story that was portrayed in a best-selling book and made into a movie. His wife is also going to address the Republican National Convention. Meantime, President Biden is trying to retain support within his party as more high-powered Democrats are now calling for him to withdraw from the race. It is therefore my honor to nominate Ohio Senator J.D. Vance for the office of Vice President of the United States of America. Vice presidential nominee Senator J.D. Vance will speak tonight during the Republican National Convention. The 39-year-old junior senator is expected to talk about his rags-to-riches life story that he wrote about in a best-selling book turned movie, Hillbilly Elegy. So what did they do? Well, they fired me. What do you think they did? Vance still needs to win over some MAGA Republicans who doubt his loyalty to Trump and question his limited experience in politics. He was just elected in 2022. He has to make up for his early career uh, attacks on Donald Trump and the line that he used that is most resonant and you can be absolutely certain will appear in Democratic advertising is that Donald Trump is cultural heroin. Political uh, analyst David Birdsell like thinks Vance will need to appeal to far right Republicans. He is in some respects the embodiment of young MAGA and to that extent he's going to do the best job he can by articulating perhaps even more effectively than the presidential candidate himself, MAGA talking points with regard to what he'd like to do with policy. Meantime, President Biden is also working to shore up support within his own party. Another powerful Democrat, California Congressman Adam Schiff, is now adding his name to a list of lawmakers calling on the president to withdraw from the race. A new poll showing about two-thirds of Democrats also believe President Biden should step aside and the party should pick a different candidate. Democrats do not view June 27th, the June 27th debate, as a one-night mistake or an aberration. And tonight, there are also several reports that the Democratic National Committee is pushing back by a week its plans to nominate President Biden for re-election in a virtual roll call. It's another signal Democrats are having doubts about President Biden at the top of the ticket, Natasha. All right, Sharon, thank you.